Hello, hi, interwebs. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today is Monday, so we're supposed to do a movie Monday, and I actually already recorded one, but because I wasn't going to do this, but I, 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 feel, I feel like I need to talk about Game of Thrones season three. The finale was last night, and um, I wasn't really going to do a review on this season, but I kind of feel like I have to. So, you guys check out the trailer, and when we get back, we're going to discuss. Darkness that will swallow the dawn. For the night is dark and full of terror. You're not half as clever as you think you are. Still makes me more clever than you. Alrighty, interwebs. That was season three of Game of Thrones. And I don't think I've done any videos about the Game of Thrones before this one, so let me just preface this by saying that I'm pr I'm pretty much a fan. Um invested in in season one i got hooked on season two we we're excited about season three my wife and i we actually binge watched season one and season two going into season three and so now we're watching it and it's over and um i was pretty disappointed in it of of, of the season in and of itself i did another review for season three of the walking dead which is pretty much going to go the same way as this one because i feel like it parallels it quite a bit. I'll put the annotation over here, over here, somewhere in this video. So you can check that one out, but this one's pretty much going to be the same thing, so you can just uh, watch this one instead. Um, I just feel like season one, I'm not going to do any spoilers. I'm going to speak in very general terms, so I know this is, you know, the season just ended. Some people may not have a chance to have seen the finale yet, so we're going to talk in very broad general terms. I haven't read the books, but from what I've heard that the Game of Thrones very closely, um, maybe not exactly word for word, but very closely follows the book storylines. And taking that into consideration when they're making a show of it, um, I know that certain things are going to, you know, that, you know, cliffhangers are going to happen and storylines are going to continue. But I, I really felt like the that season one, at the end of season one, there was some closure, and it really felt like the end of a chapter, like the end of a book, even though there was a lot of storylines that were going to continue, obviously, into, you know, further seasons, there were a lot of things unanswered, but there were still some things that came to a head, things that came to a close, uh, or came to a, a turning point, where then you continue the story later on in, uh, you know, season two, which that happened and I felt like season two kind of went the same way that there was a lot of things going on but a lot of things came to a head some things came to conclusions and the, even the parts of the story that were going to continue it seemed like you hit the end of a chapter and now you're moving on to the next phase in whatever this particular storyline is going to be in season three which it did in the beginning of season three Things, you know, we're, we're progressing from season two, so, you know, you, the, the, those uh, underlying storylines that we've been following since the beginning of the season, and some new things and new characters were introduced, and you're following those storylines, and you get to, there's only ten, ten episodes in this season, so you get to episode eight, and I'm thinking, all they're doing is just introducing more things, and in the last two episodes, I, I, I just don't think we're going to get a lot of wrap-up. And come to episode 9 of season 3, and some things some things did, you know, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but some things are starting to get wrapped up, and some things are starting to, to build up towards the end of the season, so you know that it's going to continue on to season 4. But at the end of this season, I really didn't feel like there was like a, a like a stopping and then you're going to get a new starting really all this is is just like a it's like how how like uh AMC does mid-season finales and then it continues on in the end of the season I, I i honestly don't feel like uh game of thrones season 4 is going to actually be a whole new season with uh you know the introducing the introduction of new things and following those same themes or storylines there, there's going to be a lot of continuations um, because all we really did was build up a lot more questions without any real conclusions it it's just kind of annoying that you get to a point where really nothing ever gets answered and, and i know i mean it, it's a tv series which is you know it's based on old school serials where it's supposed to leave you with cliffhangers but you can still 
answer some questions and come to some conclusions and still have plenty of story to keep you interested to roll onto a new season. So, pretty anticlimactic and disappointing end to season three of Game of Thrones. And I feel, I, you know, that, that being said, it's not like I'm not going to stop watching it. I'm still a fan. I'm still hooked. I'm still interested. I'm invested in the characters. I want to see where they're going, what they're going to do, what they're going to say. But I still feel like there's 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 plenty of things that could have come to a definite end, or at least start like to an end to the point where you would start a new chapter. And I don't feel like there's any new chapters starting, uh, you know, in in season four. We're just anxiously anticipating what the hell happened in season three. So. Season four is just going to, you know, I don't know if this is going to be a long continuation or if they're going to actually start wrapping things up. I don't know, but, you know, unfortunately, it's like a train wreck. I have to watch it. So I am looking forward to season four. And I, even though, I, like I said, I, I kind of knew that this was going to happen, like nothing was going to be answered. Still disappointed that it actually went out, you know, rolled out like that. So those are my impressions of season three of Game of Thrones. I think it was pretty spoiler free. Minus the clips and trailers that I'm sure are playing throughout this video. Thanks for stopping by the channel interwebs. I appreciate it. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Catch you guys in the next video.